What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 fastest killing gun setups in Black Ops 4 currently. I'm sure a lot of you guys have run into those situations or those specific people in a game that it seems like you just can't kill them, and they're just melting you practically instantly, whereas it seems like it takes you much longer to kill them. Well, a lot of the times that's going to be connection based, sometimes it's actually somebody taking advantage of one of these setups I'm going to be covering in this game, and these setups can significantly reduce your time to kill. We're talking like cutting your time to kill in half. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind as we go through this list. First up, this will be including attachments and operator mods, as well as headshots. I'll be mentioning if you need to hit headshots or not with these particular setups, but with a lot of them, you will have to hit headshots combined with certain attachment setups. Also, I am just focusing on regular guns, or quote-unquote regular guns. This doesn't include sniper rifles or shotguns, because their statistical minimum time to kill is technically zero milliseconds, because they are a one-shot kill. So we're just sticking to, like, ARs, SMGs, tactical rifles, LMGs, and I threw one pistol in there, because it has the potential to kill very, very quickly. One last thing to mention is we are going to be covering the maximum damage ranges. So these are going to be the close range values. And of course, this is just looking at one specific aspect of that gun, and that is time to kill. We're not accounting for recoil here. We're not accounting for different range values and everything like that. So of course, that does come into play. But today, we're just focusing on raw time to kill potential, which is quite important. So just for some context for you guys here, so you guys can really see how much we're reducing our time to kill. The average time to kill up close for assault rifles is 356 milliseconds in this game. For SMGs, it's 377 milliseconds, and for LMGs, it's 360 milliseconds. So in Call of Duty terms, compared to previous Call of Duty games, these are very, very slow values. Typically, these are the values you'd see at really long ranges for these guns, but not in this game. The time to kill is a little bit slower. So let's hop into the list here. We're going to be going in order here, and let's start it off with the ICR. Now the ICR, I've already done a full gun guide on where I've covered all of the detailed statistics. You guys can have a look at that one. I'll leave it linked down below if I remember, so you guys can check that out after this video. But the key with the ICR is if you hit just one single headshot within 50 meters, mixed in with your body shots, it will reduce your time to kill fairly significantly because it will reduce the number of shots it takes to kill. So the ICR barely made it on the list and it will kill in 300 milliseconds if you land just one of your shots in the head. So you can see here, we're definitely getting a better than average time to kill value with the ICR mixing one headshot in, but it's nothing too insane. We will be seeing some much bigger changes throughout the list. Next up, we have number nine on the list. This is the Titan, assuming you're hitting three headshots. Now the Titan is normally a four shot kill if you're just shooting them in the body, but if you land all three shots to the head, it will be a kill. When you do this with the Titan, you reduce your time to kill all the way down to 250 milliseconds. So now we're really starting to see a difference in our time to kill, comparing that to our average time to kill values somewhere between 350 and 400 milliseconds. This is noticeably faster. Moving on to the next one on the list, this is the MX-9 with high caliber, assuming two of your bullets hit the head up close. So a lot of things have to fall in line for this to work, but when it does work, you can get a statistical minimum time to kill of 249 seconds, which once again is quite fast in comparison to the average. As for number 7, we have the Rampart 17 with high caliber, assuming one shot hits the head, or if you're using high caliber 2, assuming one shot hits the head or the upper chest. If you do this, we get a statistical minimum time to kill of 232 milliseconds, and this is much easier to do than the three headshots in a row with the Titan, or the two headshots in a row with the MX-9, because with High Caliber 2, you just have to hit him in the upper chest or head. Moving on to number six on our list, this is the Swordfish with the Operator mod equipped. So the Swordfish is a standard five-shot kill, and without the Operator mod, it's a four-round burst, and this means you have to wait for that burst delay to get your fifth bullet off, and therefore your standard time to kill isn't that good with the Swordfish. But when you put that Operator mod on, assuming you're hitting every one of the five rounds that's in a burst with the Operator mod, you'll be getting a very, very fast time to kill at 200 milliseconds, which is roughly half of the normal time to kill in this game for many of the guns. Moving on to number five, once again, we have an Operator mod. This time, it's attached to the Spitfire. Now, the standard Spitfire time to kill, even without any attachments, no Operator mod, nothing like that, is actually quite fast in this game at 295 milliseconds. However, when you put that Operator mod on, your time to kill is dropped all the way down to 199 or roughly 200 milliseconds, which once again is insanely fast. Unfortunately, the downside to that is it doesn't have very much range and the recoil can be a little bit high if you're trying to challenge anybody at anything longer than really close range. This brings us to number four, and this is one of the more consistent setups as well that I really, really enjoy using. 
This is the Vapor combined with High Caliber and Rapid Fire. With this setup, if you can manage to hit two of your shots to the head and just one of your shots to the body, it will be a three shot kill. And with Rapid Fire, we reduce our time to kill even more. This will bring our statistical minimum time to kill all the way down to 171 milliseconds, which is insanely fast. You're looking at killing people literally twice as fast as most of the guns in this game will kill. So the Vapor combined with Rapid Fire as well as High Caliber is an absolute beast as long as you're hitting those shots to the head. This brings us to number three on the list. This is the VKM with both High Caliber attachments as well as Rapid Fire. With this setup, all it takes is two shots to the upper chest or head, and you'll get yourself a kill. And with Rapid Fire, once again, it reduces your time to kill even more. Our statistical minimum time to kill with this particular setup is just 150 milliseconds, which is insanely fast. This is even really, really fast for old Call of Duty games. And as long as you're hitting those chest and head shots, you're going to absolutely destroy people and they'll have no time to react to you. Next up, we have the runner up here. This is the Augur, specifically with the Operator Mod equipped, as well as High Caliber 1 and High Caliber 2 if you want to make it easier for you. With the Operator Mod, it turns the Augur into a really quick two round burst. And with the High Caliber attachment, all you have to do is hit one shot to the body and one to the head or upper chest if you have High Caliber 2, and you'll get yourself a kill. So this means you can kill in just one burst with the Augur, and this burst is very, very fast. You have a potential time to kill of just 100 milliseconds, which is practically instant. Like, that's a blink of an eye right there. You'll be killing somebody with that. Now, if you haven't leveled this up and you don't have the Operator mod, don't worry too much, because even without the Operator mod, with the High Caliber 1 and 2 attachment with the Augur, once again, just one shot to the body, one shot to the head will be a kill. And with this standard rate of fire, assuming you have a half-decent trigger finger, you're still going to be able to kill in 191 milliseconds, which is still exceptional in this game. So finally, this brings us to number one, and this one kind of wins on a technicality. This is the Mozu with the Operator mod for it, which makes it a one-shot headshot. I know I said I wasn't going to cover one-shot kill weapons, but this one I think is a bit of a different story. It's absolutely insane. This takes your statistical minimum time to kill down to zero, like I said at the beginning of the video. But I also wanted to mention the Mozu without the Operator mod. If you use High Caliber, all it takes is one shot to the body, one shot to the head, you'll have yourself a kill. And with the potential fire rate of this gun, we're still looking at a statistical minimum time to kill of 150 milliseconds, which is extremely fast. So there you have it. That's my top 10 list for the fastest killing regular guns in COD Black Ops 4. My personal favorites out of this list as far as versatility goes and just everything that's involved with it is going to be the VKM with the double high caliber as well as rapid fire, the Vapor with high caliber as well as rapid fire, and the Augur with the operator mod and double high caliber as well. Those guns are very, very versatile, so you feel quite comfortable at a wide variety of ranges with them. And they have the potential to absolutely melt somebody before they even have a chance to react to you, which is really saying something for this game because the general time to kill is quite slow compared to what we're used to. So I'd like to know in the comment section below, have you guys tried any of these setups so far? And what do you guys think of them? And if you guys haven't, make sure you try some of them out. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time. Yeah.